my homily for the 17th Sunday in Ordinary Time, the 30th of July, 2023. Our gospel today is all about the kingdom of heaven, something of interest to us all, a place one day we all hope to reach. Jesus describes it firstly as like treasure, and then as like a merchant looking for fine pearls. The point being that when we find such a thing, we are willing to give up everything in exchange for it. Are we willing to give up everything we have for the kingdom of heaven? is certainly worth far more than all we have, which we will have to give up anyway when we die. So we may as well give it up now if it leads to the kingdom of heaven, surely. All we have hardly bears comparison with eternal life, but nevertheless we are generally reluctant to let go of the material things we have here on earth. We need though to keep them in perspective. How can a few passing worldly things compare with eternal life? We mustn't let them come between us and God. That would be something we would bitterly regret. We're not expected to give up all our worldly possessions. Very few are called to do that. But we must remember that they all belong to God anyway. And he expects us to use them well in serving him and the community. The third kingdom of heaven phrase is something somewhat different. Although it points us like the others to the next world. The dragnet is about the end of time and the last judgment. Good ones are saved and those that are no use are thrown away, it says. So we can't say we haven't been warned. The fourth and final kingdom phrase speaks of the disciple being like a householder who brings out from his storeroom things both new and old. So as disciples, we should make use of the best of the old and the best of the new. We can't say we have all the answers and so don't need to change. Neither can we say that we should throw out all that is old and begin again with all new. That's where our first reading comes in. We need discerning judgment. We must judge in all these situations what is really important. Fortunately, we have the church to guide us with its thousands of years of experience and reflection. <laughs>